So what happens if you get an order after attending the hearing and what is on the piece of paper doesn't match with what was agreed or ordered in court? Don't worry, there are things you can do. There's no time limit for getting things corrected, but you'll probably want to get it done as quickly as possible for obvious reasons. Now, there are two pieces of rules, two sets of rules that you will need to quote, and you'll want to write these down. The first one is Practice Direction 40B. Those are the sets of rules that the court works to regarding procedure or court orders. The second one is CPR Part 40. Now, they detail something called the slip rule. So if it turns out that the piece of paper you've got detailing the order doesn't match what the court actually ordered, you need to write to the court manager, quote, uh, various pieces of information that include the case number, when the hearing took place, and at what court. And then say what was actually ordered. Now, this is often why we'll say don't go alone even if you're representing yourself. Because you probably can't listen, speak, and take notes at the same time. When we assist people in court, we take notes. We will write down what the court ordered. So that when you get in a situation like this, you've got a nice clear record of it. But yeah, don't worry if the order doesn't match. I think sometimes there's a bit of an admin cock up. What typically happens is a court make an order. The other side solicitor, if you're representing yourself, will draft the order, send it to the court. The court will look it over and then it will stamp it and send it out to everyone. Cock ups do happen. People do forget things. And when that happens, it should be able to get corrected. But it's really important that you've got notes that are accurate about what is actually said in court.